Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on-feet video of the Nike Lunar Racer Plus 3. So as you can see, it comes in your orange Nike performance box. I'll give you a quick look at the label here. Size 9.5 US, colorway is neo-turquoise, polarized pink, black, and blue tint. And the suggested retail price, while you can't see it, is $110 US. So this is a pair of shoes that I picked out mainly because of how they look. And I knew that they would be very, very comfortable with the engineered mesh upper and Lunar Lawn cushioning midsole. Um, you can pick these up, like I said, for $110 US, a little bit less depending on the colorway. This is actually an older colorway that you can find on sale. And I will leave a buy it now link to get these guys down below in the description. So go ahead and check that out if that does interest you. Now, like I said, this does have all the performance elements, the full engineered mesh upper, the dynamic fly wire on both the outside and inside of the shoe. And of course your Lunar Lawn cushioning midsole with very minimalistic rubber on the bottom just to maintain a very lightweight feel. And this shoe is extremely light in person and a, just a great pair of shoes to wear every day um, in my opinion. And like I said, if you did want to wear them as runners, you can do that as well. I'm sure they will perform the part. Um, as far as the colorway itself goes, I went for something a little bit more unique than I would normally go for. Um, it's got pink in the upper and I know the first question a lot of people are going to ask, is this actually a men's colorway? It is a men's colorway. Um, I know that it can be viewed as perhaps a little bit girly, but I thought it was really, really cool, really unique. I'm not one to go for pink all that often, but I just liked how this looked overall, especially with the well-accenting black fly wire and black tongue and laces. I just think it looks really good. So the upper itself is that neo-turquoise color. Um, turquoise is basically a combination of blue and green, but this one definitely appears to be a little bit more blue in my opinion. Um, it looks a lot darker in person than I had originally anticipated as well. And on the online photos, it definitely looks like a light, almost like a sky blue. But in person, the turquoise definitely does come through. You do have that polarized pink in the Nike swoosh on the outside, inside of the shoe as well. And then, of course, on the tongue as well as... Um, right there it says Nike and it's got the Lunar Racer 3 logo in that Neo Turquoise color. The insole itself is also pink as you guys can see. Mesh liner on top, it says Road Racing, got the Nike swoosh. And it's pretty much just a foam outsole, nothing too fancy there. But what I'm personally a really big fan of from a design standpoint is that the Nike swoosh is actually underneath the exposed dynamic flywire, which I think is absolutely the coolest thing. Really reminds me of kind of like Spider-Man, this particular shoe, which is why I picked it up. And I know a lot of people don't like that the Nike swoosh is underneath the flywire, but personally for me, that's kind of the main attraction of this particular shoe and the main reason why I like it so much. I think flywire as a concept is really smart and I think it looks really good too, especially when they leave it exposed on the outside of the upper. So the flywire itself as you guys can see is black with the white speckling throughout and you can just see the detail of the engineered mesh upper very very thin very flexible gonna allow for plenty of breathability and if you do want to wear these even barefoot you're not gonna have any issues with that there is a little bit of fuse going around the heel as you can see you've got the fly wire branding it says Nike racing on the back of the heel but for the most part it's a very thin very minimalistic upper there is a little bit of fuse on the inside you can't actually see it but it is there just to provide support in pretty much the high wear or high stress areas on the shoe itself. The tongue, as I mentioned, is black along with the laces. It's pretty much an open mesh, very, very thin and minimalistic. And then of course the liner on the inside is a padded mesh in black as well. The midsole itself is actually listed as blue tint. And I guess in certain colorways, it can be viewed as white with a slightly blue tint. But for the most part, to me, it just looks like white. Um, again, it just really depends on the lighting. If it hits it correctly, it will look a little bit blue, but for the most part, expect to have a white midsole with your Lunar Lawn uh, kind of logo right there and of course all these ridges going all the way around just to allow for a little bit of extra compression because like I said these are a pair of performance runners you've got your one Nike swoosh there at the toe as well on the bottom you have pretty much exposed Lunar Lawn you have your BRS um, 1000 rubber all throughout just provide that little bit of durability in the high wear zones as well as traction because like I said it is a runner and then of course you do have your Nike Plus chip a slot in these shoes as well so if you did want to run in them you do have the option to slot it in that Nike Plus chip as well so that's pretty much it as far as the unboxing portion of this video goes and move on to a quick on feet so you can get a better idea as to how these shoes look all right here's a look at the Lunar Racer 3's on feet Definitely a great pair of summer shoes in my opinion. Really lightweight, really breathable with the engineered mesh upper, and just super comfortable with the Lunar Lawn cushioning there that actually provides more cushion than you might expect. Not to mention that the shoes themselves don't weigh much at all. 
As far as the overall fit and sizing of the shoes, I went with my usual size nine and a half here. And the fit and the length is a lot more snug than I was originally anticipating. So if you do like your shoes to fit snug, then I would say stay true to size. But if you want something that has a little bit more room in it, I would probably go a half size up. Cause you can see in my nine and a half here, I'm pretty much right at the end. So I definitely could have gone to a 10 if I wanted a slightly more roomy fit. But that's pretty much it as far as what they look like with a pair of shorts. And I'll move on next to what they look like with a pair of pants. With a pair of pants, these shoes look great again. Like I mentioned earlier, they're available in so many different colorways. So if you're one of those people that likes to wear running shoes as casual everyday shoes, they're available in black and white and just more simple colorways overall. While this one is a little bit more out there with the Neo Turquoise and pink Nike swooshes. Um, but for the most part, definitely a great pair of shoes. You can wear them with sweatpants, jogging pants, or even a pair of jeans if you want.